I've been making. Hello. I'm alive, but I'm not live. <laughs> um, just wanted to check in with everybody. We have been. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Vegan Ox. We've been traveling. We left. Uh, I don't know, three weeks ago, a month I think ago. It's been like a three like weeks a month. And a half. Three and a half weeks. I don't know. Why well, I, I know I started my moon cycle before right like a couple days before we left on a road trip and I just started again two days ago. So yeah, it's been about that. <laughs> it's been a moon cycle. We've gone to well, we were in LA for two weeks. And then so from there it's been um a moon cycle. And so um or one of my moon cycles. It's been cold. interesting. Well, it's cold right now, but we've been and hot. And we love it. Yeah, we've been so hot. The desert. Holy mackerel. We've, we've discovered one thing. The desert is not our home. I've discovered something else. Driving. Waking up at 3 a.m. every morning to drive for four or five hours makes me tired. <laughs> What? I told you. I knew I was going to be tired. I'm still yeah. doing it. I'm still doing it. So we're driving up to Washington to go to, um, we were invited to go to a cabin on Whidbey Island. In Washington. In Washington. So if there's anybody on Whidbey Island who would like to meet us, right now, let us know. We're in Oregon. We just crossed the Oregon border this morning. Except at, I didn't at, like, see it. I, I just woke I woke up. Yeah, they were sleeping. I was sleeping. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love Oregon. I love Oregon. Oh, I'm showing the hills. I Actually, just show I just showed them the oh, view. Oh, well, there's some beautiful hills. Wait a minute. I think I see a mountain peak with snow. Snow. Yeah. Yep, I sure do. Yep. You didn't notice? Oh. I just did. Cool. Yeah. 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 This is me and my mom living. <laughs> this is me and Octavian living. So it's been a while. So my Instagram was like broken for a little bit. I couldn't figure out how to post stuff. My like menu thing was gone. Apparently they just like changed something and expected everyone to figure it out. Um, a friend of mine helped me with it. And then they turned it back to the way that it was because I probably wasn't the only one. Uh, anyway, and then after that, I just couldn't post anything. I don't know. We're, I'm so busy just being mom and driving and, and being That's on. That's not busy. It is busy because I want to be present for you guys. Like, we're together all yeah, the time. Yeah, mom is being present for us yeah being mom so yes. i'm busy i'm so i okay i will rephrase that because that obviously triggered you it didn't trigger me a little you bit used your words wrong there is no wrong then why do you say i don't no i don't no no right wrong no good bad then why do you say it sometimes well I'm 46. I was conditioned. Give me a break. I don't say it that much. Jeez. Actually, you get a break all the time when you sleep after after um, driving. Actually, yesterday was the first time I ever took a nap after driving for five hours Actually, really early true. in the morning. The first time you did it. The first day? The first day you, you started doing okay. this, you took a nap. A small, very small one. No, a big one. No. Yes, you took a big oh, one. Oh, an hour and a half. I did. And then yesterday I took another one. But I've been doing good. Okay, not good. I've been doing well. I have had a lot of energy. I've had a lot of really decent, positive energy. Oh, just again, guys. This is me and my mom living. Yeah, I think they gather that.
Do you want to come on video with me? I'm good. So they're not just listening to you? I'm good. Oh, I snapped back into position. Snap back to reality. Oh, there, there goes, goes gravity. gravity. Oh, there goes <laughs> gravity. Oh, he's so mad, but he won't give up that he won't have it. He knows his own ropes and mobile home. That's when it's back to the lab again. <laughs> so he better go capture his moment i hope you don't you better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it you better never let it go you only get one shot do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime you better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it you better never let it go you only get one shot do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime i yeah. I can sing a lot more, but that's all I really want to sing right now. Sweet. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. Thanks for starting it. You got it. So we're here. So yesterday we had a, a, an almost accident. Traffic on the freeway stopped suddenly. And uh, there was this moment of like, shit. But... <laughs> This isn't my story. So I slammed on the brakes. I swerved to the side. Everything from the cupboards fell out of the RV. No, the pantry. <laughs> the pantry. Yeah, but also the cupboards in the back. And they, everything on the uh, counters fell down. We had a broken bottle of Tamari all over. Oh and my mom God. doesn't like the smell. I love the smell. I like tamari. I like the I smell love soy life. sauce, but that but you didn't clean it up. I cleaned it up. So yeah, I literally like, had like been... soy sauce fumes for for like an hour cleaning it up out of all every little crevice on the floor. Hey, I was cleaning the stuff that the I'm not trying to argue with you. Why do you keep trying to argue with me? I'm not trying to argue with you. But you keep, like, trying to prove something. I'm just speaking my truth here. You want to speak yours? I am. Okay. There's no comparison. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I love, this, I love soy sauce. <laughs> That's the look that makes me laugh. <laughs> You're annoyed but happy face. <laughs> My annoyed but happy face. Makes me laugh. Sweet. Or just your straight face looking at me. I think this video is going to be too long for Instagram. It's going up on YouTube. Cool. Cool. That's why I said subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Vegan Ox, once more. Well, this is going to go up on my YouTube channel, which is Sophia Lena Living. Okay, so subscribe to her and then go subscribe to me. <clears throat> And if you and if you're feeling like it's already it, go, up. and if you're feeling like it, subscribe to my brother. He doesn't post that many videos. Freedom wrecking ball. Freedom wrecking ball. Anyway, I wanted to share that. This is a fun video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Love, love it when you guys are around for my videos. <laughs> Make it's like it's like trying to have a conversation constantly being interrupted <laughs> like real life <laughs> yeah, this is when i'm real trying life. to have a conversation with somebody are you trying to not have real life this well, is this is trying to this is the life i know this is it this, this is, is the life. moment so this is the moment yeah and we're posting this moment this now moment we are and posting this now this. moment this now moment this, this now, now moment, moment this now moment it keeps going now moment. man the birds are amazing you know, one thing that I've realized is I flip and love birds. God, the calls. Every place we've stopped. We we've been to birds. Sedona, um, Nevada. Uh, wait, Sedona, and then where? Uh, oh, the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Grand Canyon. Wow, that was amazing. Um, and then... Las Vegas for a day and then Utah for a few days we went to Washington Utah gorgeous beautiful. beautiful beautiful um, and then to Idaho oh no then Salt Lake right we stayed near Salt Lake we went to the island we saw buffalo and antelope on uh, Antelope Island 
in Layton. And then we went to Idaho. We went to Twin Falls. That was incredible. We swam in the lake. Cute little RV park. Nice people. Strange people. Strange energy. And then we went to what? Boise. And that was yesterday. And that was interesting. I was going to meet up with a friend, but it didn't happen. And, um, and then we got in that near accident. And the greatest thing about that was it was another moment of realization of how, just how far I've, how much work I've done on myself and how, I don't want to say unaffected, but how, like, I don't know. I just, I feel, I just, in the past, something like that would have happened and I would have cried and screamed and I would have been freaking out. And really, I was just like, you know, it was like, oh shit, that's not my story. Move over, get off the road, missed it completely. Just thank the angels. We're okay. Everything fell out, broke. We had massive cleanup to do. But the whole time I was just like, thank God we didn't crash. I'm so grateful. And I was so happy. I was so happy to be like, not stoked to be cleaning up the mess, but it's really hot. I was just grateful. I was just in gratitude for not having crashed. And everyone was okay and no one got hurt and nothing happened. Like it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. That realization. I loved it. So that was yesterday. And then today I was going to drive all the way to Yuma. What was it? Yuma, Yumatilla, Yumatilla. Yuma, Arizona? No. In Oregon, it's like right on the, it's on the uh, Columbia River. It's the border of Oregon to Washington. And I was going to go there this morning, but I didn't. I stopped. I had to go to the bathroom. So I stopped. I saw a sign that said hot springs. And I was like, huh, hot springs. We've been so hot. And then all morning driving the more, you know, the more towards like Oregon, Washington, I was driving, the colder it got. And then it was like freezing. Then it was so cold. <laughs> and I'm like, hot springs sounds great. And so I found this cute little, um, RV place, uh, with a hot springs pool. And I decided to stop here for the day instead of trying to drive more. It just felt in alignment. So here we are. Yeah, this is just a catch up kind of, it's like, I'm trying to make it up to Whidbey Island. <clears throat> they invited us from the 5th to the 10th. It's the 5th. We're not there. It's okay. Like whenever we get there, we'll probably get there on the 7th. Just letting go of the attachment of trying to, you know, do something that doesn't feel in alignment right? I, I was tired. I needed to stop and pull over and just relax and hang out with the boys. It's just, that's just what felt right. So I did it. And so here we are. I look really tired. <laughs> I am really tired. We've gotten a lot of sun over the past like few weeks and we've had an amazing time. That's so many... Fun. Huh? It's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, yesterday, after that near crash, we went to um, a water park and we had a blast. That was really fun. And then, yeah, and today we're at a hot springs and tomorrow, who knows? And that's the, like the biggest lesson for me is that my guides, you know, God, spirit, guides, whatever... I just, they're just asking me to let go of, of, mm, what are they 
asking me to do, <laughs> to not do, to attach to knowing what's next. And knowing what's next has always been, you know, that's what we're, we've built our society on and, and it's driven us crazy, like crazy. And, and then letting go of that can also kind of drive you a little bit crazy, but in a different way. It's just like, you're trying to hold on to something, you're trying to plan something and then you realize that you can't plan anything and so you relax. <laughs> And that's the good part. And that's the, the positive part. <laughs> the lighter part. And then there's the, like the practice of it. And the more you practice it, the easier it gets. Because around each corner, you can't plan it. You can't. <laughs> We're not in control. <laughs> We're not. You know, we're not even in control of ourselves. We have choices. That's it. Choice. You choose every moment. How you, how you show up in every moment. And that's why it was so powerful for me to observe how I showed up after that near accident yesterday. It felt really good. Oh, there I go again. The good. Now you're making me catch myself like every single time I take it. <laughs> Made me feel light and happy. What was that? Freedom. Yeah. You made the whole house shake. I don't know. Okay. So, I had kale and grapefruit this morning for breakfast. Early morning breakfast. That made me feel light. And then we stopped at the RV park. And then I made blueberry pancakes. And now I'm feeling like, mmm nap time <laughs> anyway so that's it there's so much more I don't know what to share I'm just sharing what's coming through right now it's just that's it no editing haven't showered in days been to a water park a salt lake and a river in the last three days and today we're going in the hot springs <laughs> and there's a shower at the rv park because our hot water heater doesn't work cold showers suck um so yeah i love you choose light choose easy choose to move through I don't know <laughs> I do and I don't we all do and we all don't tired ramblings we're having a great time mm, I'm not going to be um, planning any lives uh, I might just jump on a live on Instagram here and there with other people by myself so tune in catch them if you can and um, and I don't know when I'll be posting next I'm not going to promise I'm not gonna try that was the other thing it, trying like, the only way I could have enjoyed myself more these past few weeks is letting go of the attachment or that belief that I need to be posting regularly in order to maintain some sort of, I don't know. I don't know. 
I, I had moments of stress, like, I gotta check in, I gotta do a post, I gotta, you know, this and that, and it's like, no, actually, I just needed to be where I was, doing what I was doing, and the post will come, the video will come. I haven't felt called to make a post. This is the first day. <laughs> so here I am. Yep. Okay. Love you. See you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.